Saturn stepped out here and uh, was gonna make a video posted Saturday but it turned into a whole weekend thing so I'm gonna put it all together Stepdad here with the little one, and I figured I've got to tell you about something we do while we get ready for bed. Is it yes, <laughs> the other one doesn't understand that. I bought a little setup to be able to do some mobile recording, and uh, well, me and his one before we go to bed at night. Besides his little mess stuff for, to help him sleep, I also have a list of songs that I will sing along with on, on my personal YouTube to help indicate it's time to settle down for bed. I usually listen to, them to about 10 songs. I mean, there are songs like When Can I See You Again, Fireflies. Those are both by Al City. Then you got Stars by Skillet. Then it's oh, I see. What? <laughs> I said you might get copyrighted. No, well, copyright only applies when you play the music, not when you say the names of the song. Yeah, and there's a few other songs in there. Long dark. And he likes me to talk to him. Are you trying to talk to the people? <laughs> yeah. You're talking to people. Yeah, I know I don't get very many people talking um, well, or viewing my videos on YouTube, but it seems like a lot of people on the other social media sites I sent put videos on, which is called Bitch You. Seems like my views get quite a few views. But I'm just trying to also make this video to add a little more utility <coughs> items you need in your utility bag to help with your children. I mean, like singing down <coughs> with music. It does put them to sleep. <laughs> and he's, he's full of energy. <laughs> right now, but it helps put him to sleep. I mean, especially if you have a set time, time is where you start on it. Start it on, and then put him in bed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can't like <laughs> you run around. Oh, I'm doing it in the other room. All right, I'll set you down. Oh. I'm gonna need that though. Um, nope, nope. Grab the camera. Hey, you can't play with that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can try to play with the camera. Um, but there's other things. You do understand you can edit your videos. Yeah, you know, I had to do it in one take. Um, but there's other things we do as a family. I know most people, well not most people, or at least a good chunk of people do it, uh, which is uh, when you have dinner, you actually have it as a family. You f keep your faces out of the screens and stuff like that. Um, we're, we've gotten back to doing that as often, and we actually have conversations. <laughs> Still trying to take it down. Yet... Yeah, We ne didn't used to do it, but now we are. We're having conversations. There's no phones allowed at the table. I mean, we're, we'll listen to music, but it's usually no phones. No phones, but you still have your own. I'm not on it all the time. On it while I'm there. That's the one that's bugging me. <laughs> Yeah, but 
we're trying to do more things as a family. And that's what you should be doing. You spend time as a family, not just time... <laughs> just <laughs> playing video games or stuff like that. You should actually spend time together because... Families that don't really spend time together really seems to fall apart. Hey. Uh-oh. All right. Looks like this is recording now. I had an issue trying to record the second part of this video. All right. I don't know how you got that. There. It's not good for you. But I was trying to talk about making sure you spend time with your family. Because if you don't, there's instances where families grow so far apart that they despise each other because they don't feel loved. And that's always an issue. Um, like this little guy <laughs> keeps wanting to get a hold of the camera. At least to stand with the camera. And I was talking about when you spend time with them, share, show an interest in things they are doing. Like, I mean, I actually find the kids' pictures that they are drawing interesting. You can tell that by the fact that my profile picture and the header picture on my account are actually from the kids. They've actually drawn them. Now they all eldest draw those two, but my drawings I mostly keep to myself. Yeah, and she keeps her drawings to herself. It's kind of interesting, um, but you can't. I know, like me, I can't always financially support everything they're doing, but I try to at least encourage them. To continue. And this gun is enjoying some photos because I'm sitting in front of our TV recording this. Because he's got photos of himself. Um, we don't exact. He's just. Interesting in a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I'm probably sure this camera's a little crooked, but yeah, it'll do. Um, as I said, I don't have the financial means to do like a lot of stuff or be a perfectionist because there's no point in being per perfect or anything. It's just messing him. Uh, I mean, we buy him to we bought him some tools and we bought him doctor supplies. Actually, I think we need to buy him some military clothing. But um, hey, yeah, okay. Now that you shut that in your mouth, we're gonna t take care. Go away, because you can't have that in your mouth. Can't do that. Yes, they tell you not to allow kids out of small objects, but yeah, I, I can't find them. You know? No, you can't have that either. Yes, one likes to choke himself with the stringers. And now we. Oh, nope. No. No. Hey. He got upset because I won't let him take the... You can't reach that thing now. Here. Here, play with this. Yeah, PlayStation controller. That seems happy. Yeah, he's going to be that way. Um, yeah, they get, they get those moments where... They're gonna cry because you took something away they couldn't have. But they'll get over it. Um, 
that's kind of one reason why I like making videos with him around. Because it makes it to where I find things to talk about. Um, for instance, uh, that. And somehow he managed to turn on some. The Xbox. Yeah. By closing the door. Very interesting. It might be just the way it's set up. Door's probably right close to it. But you think kids are gonna easy kids are gonna make messes. And don't be afraid to once they get to old enough that they should have some responsibility. Have them doing some chores. I mean, something simple. Some simple chores is man like I mean, get them to start picking up after themselves when they understand when the words pick up, please pick up your stuff. Because at this age, they're not going to understand pick up, uh, about picking up after themselves. But, I mean, give them simple, simple chores. I mean, I mean... Right now, our kid, the old, older two are doing uh, doing dishes and their own laundry. And it kind of alleviates some of the stuff you have to do as parents. I mean, our oldest watches him quite often. When one of us ha uh, one of us is working and the other one has to run off run somewhere to get something. And yes, I work from home, and he spends quite a lot of time in the o in my office with me. And, yeah. Oh really? And there's going to be instances where they're going to pick up words and start saying them that <laughs> you you, sa you said, like, this, like, I, my first word was cuss word. It is one, you could call it a cuss word, but if you, but. Can't tell he's saying a-hole or apple. Yeah. Yeah. And he has issues with volume control like I used to have. From your calendar, call Andrew. Starts in 10 minutes. Echo cancel. Oh, that's for mom. Yeah. I got, we got an echo. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I don't like it. Yeah, but I gotta get off. Um, I will be posting this video, but I encourage you if you have family questions, military questions, any kind of questions you think I might have an answer to, go ahead and send send them to me. I to the either the email address or my Discord. Um, there will be a link down in below. I and I don't care if you say you want to like or dislike this video. It's just something that helps me with my uh, public speaking anxiety that I have. I will see you next time. So I'm stepdad here. I figured I'd talk about something while I'm making supper. Um... Iowa just actually became, well, I believe, the 19th state to approve constitutional carry. In which a lot of people ha do have issues with that. Um, I mean, they're going to know people are going to be able to sell their firearms. We'll get firearms easier because they won't have to show that permit. I know there is an issue with private sales. A lot of people have issues with private sales. Um, which I understand. I mean, 
Yes, private sales people um, sometimes don't even do a quality check on the individual they're selling the firearm to. Um, but businesses will still do the background checks on any firearm sales here in Iowa. So it's not like people can just, someone who has a criminal history cannot go out and buy a, a firearm just because they want one. If they will not be able to purchase one. But any good uh, private seller or good firearm owner that does a private sale knows to have the person have to check their background. Because when I went and bought one of my firearms from a pirate, private sale, um, it was... Uh, I was told to get a permit to purchase or a permit to carry before they would sell the firearm to me. And the fellow had that when when I came back he took a copy of it to have for his records. I mean there could be a lot of things going on that I don't understand why people get frustrated. I mean, in the event of this, I think, yes, there should, when it comes to private sales, an individual should ch have a background check done. When it comes to, when it comes to the private sales, I mean, it could go to a, uh, an FFL dealer and have it done. Which I think should be a requ I mean, you should do have a requirement. The FFL dealer can, I mean, probably need to at least give them some, like, I'd say $20 just to do a background check at most for any company to do a background check when it comes to a private sale. That way, they have re the uh, individual doing having the background check done can have a receipt and can show that they did have it professionally done and it's also a way to help track that yes there was one done and you can go into that company the, so if well let's say the individual does end up causing a, committing a crime with that firearm it can be traced back to that that company to make, and that company can say yes. He was either say yes, he was authorized to purchase, or no, he was not authorized to purchase the firearm. And when that comes, and in that case, if the individual that sold it, him the firearm, can be held responsible for his act for those actions. Yeah, and I'm cooking. I mean, I'm making hamburgers that my family usually likes um i mean i just put two pounds of ground meat in there two pounds of ground well three pounds of ground meat two pounds of ground beef two pounds of ground turkey i mean and i i might as well continue just telling you how i make it i mean i'm trying to be a little more family oriented now th th some people will get a little testy about some of the ingredients. I mean, I guess I put two pounds of ground beef, two pounds of ground turkey, and some people would probably say you shouldn't be doing that. But as long as it mixes together properly and it's cooked, pro cooked thoroughly, it should be fine. Now, I am doing my uh, measurements with a shot glass. Because, well, uh, measurement of some things. Like, I'm, I'm going to just be using this Weber Gourmet uh, burger seasoning. And I'm only going to put like a shot of it into the bowl. I, start, I wanted to get that story out of the way. Because there's some things that need to be talked about when, when addressing those kind of issues. Alright. Now that I'm done with the seasoning... I actually put whiskey into it. 
And you can use whatever kind of you want. I mean, I'm using the uh, Evan Williams Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And when you're using it, when you're using it cooking, it's a whole it the alcohol really burns out. I mean, I'm only gonna put three sh a shot per pound. Just because that's usually how much I usually do. I used to estimate. That's two. That's two shots. No, well, three shots. Then, with some of the issues you have with this, um, they recommend using a binding agent to help with it. And usually what I do is I'll use an egg, one egg per pound. Just one large grade aid egg. That's a little tough. That's one. Two. Yeah. I'll admit, I'll admit I've had that bottle of whiskey for a while. It's mostly been used for cooking. And that makes three. Three large eggs. Now I got paper towels here to wet my hands off. Clean up my hands. And if in the event that normally it doesn't, if the three eggs somehow don't manage to hold it, or it's, it depend, it's also dependent on the meat and all that if it holds together. But I use a, usually use a, I, powdered well it's I can't exactly put it the way it is um it's like breadcrumbs and I mean that is it that's it breadcrumbs and when I mean breadcrumbs I really mean breadcrumbs because it's like fine grained all right and when it comes down to it yeah it's about two pound eight ounce uh, 40 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce I usually, use, I usually estimate about a quarter of a bottle, and actually what I have left is, on this in this bottle is a quarter, and I've been using the Sweet Baby Rays. I mean, it's the uh, honey barbecue sauce. And I just... <coughs> just squeeze all out. <coughs> Sorry for all that noise. And it does take a while. Thought about posting this on TikTok, but it's like, me, I'm not much of a TikTok person. So I just figure I do it on here. I mean, some people do it, some people don't. But my family loves when I make these burgers. And depending on my mood, I may add cheese or some other. So, that about pretty much all empty. Um, I doing it with the screen facing me this time because I had to make sure angles and stuff like that. Um, as of right now, I don't even think I have breadcrumbs. I think I have crackers though that I can use if I need to. But I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty when it comes to mixing it. I use my hands. My hands are clean. That's always what you need. You gotta have your hands clean when doing this. I mean, it takes a lot of time to. And I'm using a very large bowl doing, doing this. And it takes some time to get everything mixed together. And, well, I may have made it a little off on some stuff, but in this case, I'm going to need to get more of a binding agent because I didn't miscalc I must miss did a miscalculation with the turkey. So, and the fact that I'm using 
turkey was store bought. The hamburger was actually from a meat a local meat locker. So, mm, so, and now it's really gooey. It's not gonna hold together very well. But give him time. Actually, give him some time, and mix in. It will uh, thicken back up. I'm gonna stop the video for now, and well, I'm gonna drop and get. I'll be back when I got this uh, stiff, stiffened back up. Well, stiffened enough, stiffened enough to make burgers. All right. Well, I've already had some. But I can act. I don't have a way to get home, get out and go get some breadcrumbs. But the little one asleep. So I actually took some triscuits, uh, avocado, cilantro, and lime. I mean, it's gonna add a little different flavor, but it'll. Uh, I've been adding some, and it's slowly been getting thicker. And I crushed them all up. I do what I can with what I have. As I said, I'm not. Rich, but things come together. And it also gives it a chance for the stuff to actually soak into the meat, meat to really soak together. I mean, it also makes it so you can have more and more. I mean, I'm always fine tuning this this recipe. Um, this stuff, this recipe that I use, just because it's, it's, I almost, I'm kind of versatile when it comes to making my burgers. I don't just make straight hamburgers. It's too simple. I mean, there's five of us in this house. The alcohol cooks out and most of the times a lot of times when I make my burgers I make them on the grill see now so now that's really sticky well for the most part sticky we want to do it what I want to be able to do is be able to stick I mean it doesn't stick to my hand but should be able to pick up a ball and I should be able to make a ball and not worry about it coming apart. This is almost about perfect. But when it dries up, I'm worried about it a little bit. I think it'll be fine with, with it being this way. Seems a little more elasticity. Well, until I can... Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a bit and then I will cook it on the grill. Well, I'll make the patties and cook it up. Now that it's thick enough to be made into patties.